Hey, what's going on guys? Today I want to show you how to set up your site in link silos, or in this case, I guess category silos would be more accurate. Siloing is an important SEO technique because <clears throat> it's, a, it's a way to organize your site, to tell Google what your pages are about, and more importantly, the relationship between your pages towards one another. So typically how a silo works is you're going to have your main level pages like the home page, about page, services page, contact page, whatever else. These would be your main level pages. And within these, you'll see like in the services, I have sub pages. So here are two of my services. I'm still building this out, so I'm going to add more. But this would be examples. Uh, these would be examples of sub pages. So these are these come underneath the main services page. So when I click on services, it lands on this main page, which is just a listing of all my services, very high level. Um, but within this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a silo so that this essentially passes uh, link influence down to this page, right? Because this is about SEO audit. So on your main page, like here, you want to you you want to keep things very summarized, right? You want to keep keep it very high level. And I'm just briefly explaining what SEO site audits are. And I'm going to let my sub page get more in depth about it, right? So I'm going to this will be my sub page SEO audit. And this whole page is about the process of performing an SEO audit. And of course, I'm using this as a way to sell my my services. Um, but it's going to help my rankings overall if I'm able to silo this page. So I'm going to do a, a little example of what that would look like. Um, right now I'm using Thrive Themes within WordPress. And I love Thrive Themes. I, I can't say it enough. It's an amazing uh, suite of products. Um, so I'm going to go to my main services page, which I'm at now. I'm going to hit Edit with Thrive Architect. This is the page builder that comes with Thrive. It's amazing, super easy to use. And I'm just gonna add some links here uh, to pass this link influence down from this main page to the audit page that I showed you. So for example, in this paragraph, I'm talking about SEO site audits. And I did a little bit of homework here and I think I wanna link this phrase, uh, which is kind of a variation of site audits. Um, but I, I think it's a good phrase to link to a page about site audits. You know, it's not it's not an exact match uh, keyword. If I wanted to do exact match, I could do this one, but I think that's a little too deliberate. Um, I, I know a lot of people do that. They'll do an exact match, uh, you know, way of interlinking, but I don't think that's necessary anymore, and I think it's kind of, in, in some ways, Google doesn't really value that all that highly because it's so easy to do. Um, I think it's better to just, yeah. You know, the main thing, of course, you don't want to overthink it, right? You, you want to do something that makes sense. And I just feel like this makes the most sense. I could also do this one, which I'm currently bolding, but I, I like it bolded because I want users to see um, actionable roadmap because I think that's important that I'm not just doing an audit for them. I'm giving them a roadmap to help their overall SEO. So anyway, it's pretty straightforward how we do this. So I highlighted auditing your site and I'm going to link it to that SEO audit page. So I'll just type in the URL here, like seo.com slash services, Jesus, type uh, slash SEO audits. I think that's the link, pretty sure. Hit insert. That's all there is to it. Save. All right, exit Thrive Architect. So now I'm in just the normal services view. As you can see, the page loads. This thing is highlighted, auditing your site. By auditing your site, I'll be able to construct an actionable roadmap. Oh, I want to learn more. Click on that, boom, takes you to the audit page. And this is a very simplistic example of category sil siloing, but that is basically what there is to it. Um, this is how you silo. You take your high-level pages and you connect them to the sub pages and um, it's just a way, again, it's 
don't think of it as, as gaming the system. It's just a way to tell Google what your site is about, and it encourages you to structure your site well. Um, it sort of reinforces the idea that uh, of good site structure, and so that's super important. Anyway, thanks for watching.